Welcome to Digital Learning, an initiative of Directorate of Collegiate Education, Government of Karnataka. This session, the focus will be on the short story, The Liar, written by Mulkraj Anand, prescribed for third semester General English BCom, affiliated to Bengaluru North University. This is an introductory session. So, in this session, the focus will be on the author and introduction to the author and introduction to the lesson will follow. I am Nandana NG, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Bagepalli. The Liar is a short story written by Mulkraj Anand. Let us have a look at the content. Uh, first, we will have a recapitulation of previous knowledge so as to ascertain what is it that we know that we are going to learn, what is it that we are aware of, what is it we are going to learn and how it is going to enhance our future learning. The learning objectives of this particular session will be dealt with and later after going through the learning objectives, what is it that the session outcome can be looked forward to or what is it that the student can look forward at the end of this session. Introduction to the writer Volkraj Anand follows, all the details pertaining to the author will be focused upon and introduction to the lesson, the liar, the short story follows. Again, a recap session will be there wherein again we will we'll be going through all the points related to the introductory session and last but not the least, multiple choice questions to assess the accumulation of knowledge that has occurred through the course of this introductory session. Recap of previous knowledge. This previous knowledge or in fact what I would say is knowledge is a very big word. Uh, knowledge wise every individual will be having, uh, some might be having more number of knowledge or some might be having less knowledge. Again knowledge is based upon our previous experiences, what is it that we have heard etc. So, not necessarily all that we know should be true. Now, let us just go through these questions so that the questions will try to tell us what is it the story that is going to be followed. First, what type of stories do the children like? Uh, when I asked this question in the class, uh, the student said, uh, children just like stories. It could be any type for that matter and I feel it is true. Children love stories. It is not like, in fact, children love stories. I guess they, they are not that particular about types, any story for that matter. If you observe a child is crying or uh, not willing to eat its food, you just start with a story and the child willingly listens. It could be any story or it could be a story it has already heard before, yet children like stories. So, I guess any type of stories works with children. Second question, do stories appeal to both children and adults alike? I think the answer is yes, it is not only children who are interested in listening to stories, even adults for that matter love to listen to stories. Uh, if I have to give add one more question to this, why do children, why do adults like stories? As an adult, I love to listen to stories because it transports me to some other fictional world wherein I can envision myself, I can imagine to be one of the characters and that keeps me occupied. I like to be transported to another world, maybe that is one of the reason why adults like stories. Uh, next question, do you remember your childhood bedtime stories? Uh, my students reply yes that they do remember uh, some of the childhood bedtime stories and if I have to answer the question yes I do remember the stories narrated from Amar Chitrakata and the Jataka tales by my mother because I particularly like the Jataka tales or the Panchatantra tales because there were animal characters in those video in those stories and uh, whenever the story was narrated I would imagine the fox talking or the monkey running about giving a speech and that held my fascination for a long time. It was only as an adult I realized that the Panchatantra and the Jataka stories had animal characters to give moral messages. So, these three questions that we just dealt with, the types of stories and why children and adults like stories and whether children remember bedtime stories, uh, deal with the idea of stories being essential to storytelling. The next two questions can be taken as one unit. The first question here is, why do people lie? Well, I think uh, for this there is no clear answer. Lie, lie means 
to give false information to mislead people deliberately if you really observe the word lie in kannada means sullu lie is in the middle of the word believe b e l i e v e or belief so nambikeya madhye sullu or you can say that lie is everywhere now the question is why do people lie there are no clear cut answers for that people lie for all reasons people lie whether they require it or not in fact lies can be categorized as white lies black lies unnecessary lies mischievous lies or dangerous lies lies even for that matter matter which take the lives of others we really do not know as to why people lie but on a general consensus people lie to get out of that awkward situation more or less that would be the answer for that now the last question is related to this does it help them in the long run in the sense does lying help people in the long run of course the answer is no let me tell you from my experience if you lie you have to remember what is it that you told them and every time the instance comes up you will have to recollect as it what is it you lied and you will have to give the same details when people are telling the truth or when people are narrating stories from memory the details remain the same only when you lie the details are different so obviously people lie for various reasons but it never helps them in the long run ultimately sometime or the other the truth will come out and your lie will be held against you the learning objectives of this session uh, the students will be uh, able to motivate themselves in creative writing and short story telling in fact uh, storytelling is an art and short story particularly it requires a lot of uh, creativity so the students by the end of this session will be able to motivate themselves the story in turn will help to mold one's character yes through the course of the characters uh, the student can realize uh, what are the negative aspects and positive aspects of each character and likewise mold themselves the student will be exposed to the style of writing it will also lead to develop interest for story retelling it will develop the imaginative power of students yes this is very very important only when you have imagination you will be able to write about it later it will also develop interest for language learning through the course of the story through the characters various words can be learned for that matter which will in turn help improve language learning it will also help to familiarize the students with the art of storytelling as i told again i reiterate storytelling is an art uh, a few people can tell the story of a single line for hours together which will captivate the audience while well, i have also seen people who ruin a story by just narrating it in one sentence and thereby ruining the entire experience so here by the end of the session the students will be familiar as to how the story should be narrated so the session outcomes will be at the end of the session the students will be able to read understand and appreciate the contents of the text yes reading is very important only when you read you will be able to understand and only when you understand and analyze you will be able to appreciate the contents of the text the student will be able to recognize the elements of the story what are the different elements of the story the student will be able to recognize uh, he or she will be able to develop the art of storytelling uh, in fact this in turn will help the student to write creative short stories also if there is any student who is interested in art or writing or literature for that matter this story will help the student to write creative short stories in fact there are stories within stories in this uh, uh, short story for that matter and also it will help the student to develop interest for folklore folklore means in kannada janapada janapada sahitya so as a result by the end of this session the student will be able to do all these things now let us have an introduction to the writer the name of the author is mulkraj anand Mulkraj Anand was born on 12th December 1905 at Peshawar in fact he was born uh, always look at the time li- timeline he was born in 1905 so what is the first thing that strikes you 1905 being pre independence so he was born in the undivided india before partition so 
a person born in such a time what was the society that he was exposed to what is it that he witnessed in the society or whatever he witnessed in the society will be reflected in his works so always have or give importance to the timeline of the author mulkraj anand is a prominent indian author novelist and also a story writer in fact he is one of the most pioneers he is one of the pioneers of indo anglican fiction indo means related to india anglican means related to the english part fiction is something related to stories to simplify this point i would like to say that uh, literature in india indian writing in english can be indian writing in english in india can be divided as pre independence and post independence in the pre independence era uh, mulkraj anand was one of the people who was educated in the english medium and as a result being an indian yet he could write in english so people who were educated in english i mean born as indian but having english education and if they wrote in english such fiction or such literature was known as indo anglican fiction and in fact mulkraj anand was one of the pioneers of indo anglican fiction he was also a contemporary of r k narayan and raja rao in fact mulkraj anand r k narayan and raja rao are considered as the trinity of indian writing in english if not for these three people indian writing in english would have taken a lot more time to emerge contemporary means living in the same time so mulkraj anand also was prominently writing during the time of r k narayan and raja rao Uh, mulkraj anand also gained international readership it's not that whatever uh, literature mulkraj anand wrote was prevalent or available only in india his writings were popular all over the world and as a result he also gained international readership he is the writer of the very famous novel untouchable in fact untouchable is considered as a milestone in indian writing in english any literature student for that matter who has to read untouchable in fact i advise all my students to do read this novel untouchable it throws light on the caste system that was prevalent during those times and how mulkraj anand uh, has given those uh, realistic portrayal of the victims of the caste system and then for all his achievements mulkraj anand also was awarded the padma bhushan in 1968 let us have or let us introduce ourselves to the lesson the liar the lesson liar is an autobiographical story so first thing is clear it is a story but then added to it it is an autobiographical story autobiographical means mulkraj anand himself is narrating his own story uh, he never anywhere gives gives it out that it is him there but it is clear wherever it is i it is the writer author narrator speaker himself autobiography autobiography is when i write my own life story it becomes autobiographical so it is a story from the author's childhood so anand recollects from his childhood Uh, he had a very idyllic childhood in a village growing up he re- recollects these stories from his childhood he used to listen to the stories of labu a downtrodden and a good shikari in the village where anand grew up there was a person called labu he belonged to a uh, inferior caste as mentioned in the story and he was a downtrodden that is he lived in poverty but he was a good shikari shikari is a person who who used to go with these british lords for hunting these british lords whenever they went hunting they took this local or native people to help them to hunt tigers or other wild animals and labu was a good shikari he had this uh, knack of uh, uh, trying to uh, find out the lead le- leads for animals etc and as a result he had this physical agility the britishers preferred labu so anand would listen to the stories of labu labu was a born liar and a storyteller of the village but anand does not believe his stories yes labu was a born liar in fact that is why the story is titled the liar in fact he has told so many lies through the course of his stories that the entire village knows that labu is a liar in fact labu liar both are synonymous words through the course of the story but yet anand as a young boy 
was uh, mesmerized by the stories told by Labu. Though somewhere he does not believe in his stories, yet he likes to listen to his stories. So through the course of the lesson, we find two or three cooked up stories. Hence the title, The Liar. In fact, the uh, stories told by uh, Labu, the character Labu, there are two prominent stories. In fact, both are so full of creativity because as and when the story is being narrated or when you hear to the story, you... To some extent, we start believing that is the creative aspect of lying by Labu. Let us try to recapitulate what is it that we have learned through the course of this session. First, we introduced ourselves to the author Mulkraj Anand. Mulkraj Anand is a well-known Indian writer, novelist and a short story writer. As I told before, Mulkraj Anand was writing in the pre-independence era. He was one of the pioneers of Indo-Anglican fiction and in his writings have also gained an international readership. He is one of the pioneers of Indo-Anglican fiction and he was also considered a contemporary of R.K. Narayan and Raja Rao. He is also the writer of Untouchable, the most pro, uh, popular novel of his and is also the recipient of Padma Bhushan which was awarded to him in 1968. The primary character of this story, Labu, the li he is the liar of the village and it tells cooked up stories. That is why the character, the story is titled The Liar, Sulugara. Because Labu lies a lot, he tells so many cooked up stories, the entire village is familiar with that aspect that he is a liar. But still, the narrator, Anand, as a small boy, uh, was fascinated by the stories. He, sen he says, he actually admits, the boy Anand does not believe his stories. Yes, somewhere even as a young boy, Anand knows whatever Labu is saying is not true. But still, he was fascinated by the narrative aspect, the way in which uh, Labu used to add so much of uh, um, fantasy into the stories that Anand was fascinated and mesmerized by the stories. The story contains some cooked up stories, so the title, The Liar, is appropriate. Yes, if you look at it that way, if the story was titled Labu, maybe uh, it would have been popular, but still, uh, The Liar is more appropriate or correct or relevant because the entire story is based upon Labu, who is a liar throughout his lifetime and most of his stories are lies. Now, let us test ourselves was to what we learnt in the course of this session with the help of these multiple choice questions. Mulkraj Anand is a pioneer of and the options are Indo-Anglican fiction, Anglo-Indian fiction, Indo-American fiction, Indo-Greek fiction and the answer is Answer A, Mulkraj Anand is a pioneer of Indo-Anglican fiction. Second question, the novel Untouchable is written by Raja Rao, R.K. Narayan, The Liar Labu or Mulkraj Anand. By now you should be familiar that the answer for this is the novel Untouchable is written by Mulkraj Anand. Labu is a liar and dash. Options are lawyer, a subedar, a shikari and a leader. By now we are, uh, we are introduced to the character Labu. We know that Labu is a liar and a shikari. The narrator of the story. Narrator means the person from whose point of view we are listening to the story or the person who is narrating the story. So here the narrator of the story is the liar Labu, the writer Anand, village leader or Subedar. Answer is option B, the writer Anand. Fifth question, Anand dash Labu's stories. Uh, the options available for this question are believed, did not believe, smashed, appreciated. Yes, the answer here is Anand did not believe Labu stories. Uh, the other options are not applicable to this and the correct answer here is Anand the narrator did not believe Labu stories. But it is another aspect that he was fascinated by those stories there. So, the sources and references used for this session 